Happy Sunday, everyone. Uh, last video, I showed you how neat and tidy my garage was. Today, not so much. Stuff all over the place. Um, bread maker out there. Take that to my mother's. One of these, two of these, these drink dispensers that hold the bottles upside down. I used to have those in my bar when I drank. Now I'm getting rid of them. Put them on let go or something. I was, the wife was going to throw them out, but I said, hey, I can get like 20, 30 bucks for those. Bunch of screws, more screws, more screws. Drills, saws, levels, uh, electric stapler. This thing's awesome. Well worth the like 40 bucks I paid for it. If you're doing lots of repetitive stapling, I highly recommend one of these. This one's a Stanley. And it's great. Just put the staples in, plug it in, and boom, boom, boom. It actually it does short brads too. Brads. Brads. That's it. Um, take you out here to show you the planter I'm building. All horses set up. He's just folding Canadian tire ones. So there's the planter. That's going to be the seat of the bench, and behind it will be planters. The benches will be 18 inches deep. Um, I'll show you more when it's finished. Some more lumber over there. These are these, they're called mini ties, small railway tie type things. They're like 4x3 or something like that. They're like 750 each. Which works out to, I don't know, $1.25 American. Uh, another thing I picked up was this cool old ashtray. It's all rusty and been spray painted a few times, but it's kind of cool. Um, here in the local, in our neighborhood community center, they have what's called the Big Bin Event, where they set up a great big dumpster and people can bring in, you know, old couches, old chairs, whatever they're, they want to throw out rather than have them dump it somewhere in some back lane or something. And so they do this once a month in, or once in spring and once in fall, I believe it is. And anyway, this was in the dumpster. So I actually grabbed it out. Thought it was kind of cool. I've always said to my wife that with everybody quitting smoking and smoking not being the cool thing it once was, that cool ashtrays are going to become collectible one day. And I don't know if that's true, but there's some really nice ashtrays. This thing is pretty awesome. I don't think that should have went to landfill. It's cast steel. It doesn't have any markings on it that I know of. I haven't given it a good look. I might sandblast it and paint it. I don't know what I'll do with it. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, building that planter out there, that's taken me a day and a half so far. So my hat's off to whoever builds log cabins and that type of thing. If building this thing has taken me a day and a half getting that far, um, it would take me five years to build a log cabin, frankly, because all I'm doing is cutting these with the saw. The saw doesn't go all the way through it, of course, and I sold my miter saw that would have. So I got to cut. That gets like almost all the way through, except for about a half inch, and then I use a back saw to just go the rest of the way through and make sure it's all square and level going up when, as I'm doing it. Yeah, it's 16 feet by 3 feet. And over here, back here, it's supposed to rain tonight. It's supposed to rain last night, but it didn't. But it's supposed to rain tonight. So I've got a, two yards of dirt, or two and a half yards of dirt out there, covered in a tarp, some junk over it. Uh, another thing I noticed while I was out here doing this, is if you look up there, let me see if I can zoom in a little. Yeah. See where the electrical goes into the garage in that big opening? I've got a squirrel, my little squirrel buddy you've seen videos of, that gets food from the bird feeder. He's been taking it up in there. And I was telling the wife that I should, you know, maybe take a pellet gun and off his little life if he's going to be going into my garage. Um, that was going to be my plan. But she made a good point. She said he keeps taking food up there. Or she. Could be a she. I don't know. Chances are that he's got a little family up there he's feeding. And so if I were to, I can go up there and check. I will probably once this planter thing is done. But if he's got little baby squirrels up there, I'm not going to kill him or anything. And I was even planning on just blocking off those holes so he couldn't get back in or out. But I can't do that if he's got little babies in there. So I'll have to wait and see what happens. Maybe in fall I'll, I'll clear it up or, you know, get rid of them and seal those holes up good. I don't know if they eat through, the, if I put expanding foam or if I have to put some kind of wire mesh in there. Um, I don't know. You guys have any had any problems with squirrel infestation? How did you keep them out? Would wire mesh do with foam? Um, I don't know. We had mice once, and I know they just ate the foam. 
I don't know what squirrels will do. But yeah, come. When I'm done here, I'll have to climb up there and have a look around. Hopefully he's not eating any electrical stuff. Uh, the house we rented while we were building this one, funny story. There were squirrels living in the attic. It used to drive the cats crazy. They'd stare at the ceiling all the time. And, but they did a whole lot of damage. They ate wiring, the hot tub didn't, or the jacuzzi tub didn't work because of the wiring. Certain switches didn't work. Um, we told the, the guy that owned the house and he just didn't seem to give a shit, so, which is too bad. It was a beautiful old hundred year old house and he just never did anything about it. He ended up selling it for, I don't know, very little money. So yeah, anyway, that's my plan. Here's my, I'll show you my squirrel gun. General ins, general rodent gun, not necessarily just squirrels. It's a 177 caliber air rifle, Bushnell air rifle scope. Um, the spring I took to an air air gun place, and the spring's been modified, so it's it shoots at around 900 feet per second right now. I think stock it was like 400 or something like that, or 490, but it's it's close to a thousand now. Um, 2000 is roughly 22 LR feet per second, so it's about half of that. It'll certainly blow the head off a squirrel. And I've got another 22 caliber back there. It's an old one. Um, yeah, so I won't be using this on the squirrel though. I kind of like the squirrels. Anyway, that's it. So I just thought I'd give you a little update on what's been going on and show you the mess that is my garage right now. And my utility trailer that I built. This was an old tent trailer that I Ripped everything off and built the sides and put the reflectors, the lights. Those are actually the old tent trailer lights that I just turned vertical instead of horizontal. Wired them up. I left the leveling jacks on the back, which is kind of handy. Heavy load in there and you take it off the truck. Um, wheel wells inside. Right now it's just got some garbage, an old motorcycle battery. They wouldn't take that at the Big Ben event. They don't take any kind of batteries or electronic stuff. And that's just some 2x4s that I'll be using. And, leftover plywood stuff so yeah that's about it um hope your weekend was good hope you have a good week and thanks for watching bye